Well, <clears throat> hello folks. Um, I got a boat for free and I got a trailer to pull it with and uh, it was sitting in the woods for six years. So I've got to uh, clean it up, obviously. Make it roadworthy, tires are bad. Uh, bearings are probably bad. <clears throat> the brakes have been removed. They had a, an older hydraulic style brake. You can see down here, there's a, like a 3 8 hose that was cut off each one of them. Um, there's no disc left in there. So I don't really know what to do with that. I guess I'm gonna figure it out as I go, but obviously just a lot of grime and a lot of cleanup. Um, on this thing that I've got to do a little prep work. So I figured I was going to do a boat video, kind of how to get the boat back into shape. But I got to start here because I got to get it out of the water. It's docked right now. And this is a very, um, this trailer is a little older. That's That was the brake system, hydraulic, apparently. And uh, it needs new wiring, new lights. Um, a couple of aspirin and some might be broken, but. Anyways, I just figured I'd get started with this, the before, and then I'm going to pressure wash it, and then I'll show you how it comes out. Well, we are uh, pressure washed, and I've got the wheels off of this. I got it, the tires are all dry rotted, but you can see it's pretty well, it looks a lot better. I did find some areas of concern, like right in here, I don't know if you can see right there, is a nice rust hole, um, but everything else is beefcake city up front here um it looks like this was a um a hitch that moved in and out and at some at one point it got welded but that used to activate the uh the hydraulics for the bear, the brakes so we have four four different uh connection points here i think were probably for the brakes at one time but that fed that fed the line to the brakes uh, which of course we don't have anymore as I mentioned before here's what I got <laughs> I assume that's where the the um, brake master cylinder used to be um, and here is a 3 8 hose uh, which I'm assuming that sleeve uh, fed the line that came in the, you know that um, that hard line that came in to feed it so I've got to figure out a way maybe take these off take the hubs off and the the bearing buddies actually the bearings feel pretty good they're not wiggly left to right top to bottom you know they're pretty solid they're all four of them are uh and they feel like they've been greased but obviously you can see that thing is way in which means there's barely any grease left in there i'm gonna have to take this hub off clean the bearings replace the the uh possibly replace the bearings and the oil um seals and then uh see about maybe getting a electric drum kit for this possibly have to do some homework on that but uh stay tuned anyways everything else looks fairly decent but if i get that out of the way put new lights on then i'll be able to pull my boat out of the water so i've got two projects in one how fun okay so uh where we're at now is i'm going to um i'm not going to do a full restoration on this i'm just going to basically i'm going to get it cleaned up i'm going to get some of the rust off of here i get quite a few rust spots and stuff like that probably put some rust-oleum on this thing but it's certainly not going to go into a, a trailer shell you know what I mean uh big concern is I just want to make sure that the pressure treated wood is in decent enough shape and I'll go ahead and treat that before I put more uh carpet on those runners so I'm going to take all those off once those are off then we'll go ahead and we'll address the um the rust on this and get that dialed in and then this week I'm going to uh have a look at uh the brake situation again you know a closer look I see now that I've got the, um, that's where the, the uh, brake cylinder went right there. This was a spring holder for the, uh, for the shoes, for the drum. So this did have a drum on it at one time that fit over this hub. So maybe I can get an electric brake setup that has that same thing. And then uh, one other point of interest here, this, this square tube, this hollow HSS right here, um, this uh, <laughs> was full of water down in there i don't know if you can see it on top of this sits the the, the holder for the boat the, the bow of the boat that little v-shaped rubber cup thing and uh it's adjustable this thing was completely frozen so i used my uh i used my um penetrant on that and then i uh, let it sit for a little bit and i was able to free that up and grease it 
Sorry about the road noise. And then I put a couple relief holes down here, uh, one on each side, just so that from now on water can't back up in this thing. This thing had to be that full or so of water. Uh, so I just took care of that too. So anyways, uh, here we go. I'm uh, underneath the trailer now and you can see there's a lot of, a lot of this uh, scaly rust. And I was using my, uh, my angle grinder there and I just discovered something kind of neat. I don't know um, if you guys have a multi-tool, but if you ever have a situation like this, uh, I just found out it works pretty good at just getting some of this stuff removed. Sorry about that, but... easier with two hands but you can see it just it just literally flakes it right off uh, I know it's not meant for that but they do call it a multi-tool so if you have one um, doesn't matter the brand doesn't matter the blade really but uh, um, I'm going at it I've got all the boards taken off and I've got quite a bit on the top <sighs> taken off too I mean there's a bunch of scales that have to come off That just took all the scaliness off. Now I can wire wheel it or uh, angle grinder it, you know. But uh, anyways, just thought I'd share that. So I'll keep you posted. This is a more horrific project than I thought it was going to be. So anyways.